Good morning. It is Saturday, December 15th, 2018. And it's a little warmer today than it was yesterday. Uh, it's 36 degrees. I am headed to go get my son from campus. Um, so apparently they don't let you stay on campus um, during Christmas break unless you have a job. And he's been looking for a job and doesn't have a job yet. So they told him he can't in stay. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Rotary Street. He can't stay on campus, which to me is really stupid because you're going to send him home for a month. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Rotary Street. And in that time, since he has no school, no classes, he could really work really hard in finding employment um, because all of his time then can be dedicated to finding employment instead of, um, you know, having to work around a class schedule. Um, but they don't want that. We, he and I are also going to have a serious conversation as well because he's not doing too hot in school. His GPA is very low. Um, so we're going to have this conversation. Um, I'm not like a stickler on having to go to college like I would prefer to go to college or a trade school to get a you know something to get ahead so that way you can get because it's proven that you have you get paid more if you have some kind of trade or if you have some kind of um, degree but school isn't for everybody college is not for everybody and um who knows you know this may not be the time for him maybe later on in life he goes back to school and he really knows what he wants to do right now he's going for radiology you know but who knows maybe later on you go back to school when you're when you're a little bit more focused and a little bit more mature and a little bit more dedicated to what you're doing um, you know who knows but uh, he just um, you know, so, but you have to get a job. You know, you can't live in my house, you know, rent free. You're not a baby anymore. You're a 19 year old young man. You know, in, in two months, you're going to be 20 years old. You know, so to me, phew, I don't know what. I got to clean up the, the filter in my thing because. Smells moldy. Um, there, you know, there. You just don't know. I mean, that's, you just don't know. Hold on, sorry. So you're a 19 year old young man. You need to have a job. You need to fend for yourself. You know, I'm all for supporting you and encouraging you and being there for you and uplifting you. But you gotta be an adult now. So on the way back home, we're gonna have that conversation. Um, you know, this isn't a free ride. I've been paying all of his bills all the way this time, this whole entire time, but I don't think he's been taking looking for a job serious, to be honest. Um, I think he's just been lounging around for the last couple of months, just enjoying life. Well, I've given you that time, and uh, now you need to be for real. So he's going to come back home, and he's, going to come back home and he's got to get a job like you know you, you have to get a job I don't care if you're going to go work at McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's or whatever it may be but you have to get a job there's no way around that um, and you got to get a job realistically to make sense you got to get a job that can be transferred to where you're going to school so he really needs to look at employers that are around his school that he can get a job at and it's just that simple that's all there is to it and I don't want to hear anything otherwise um, you know I've got bills of my own and things of my own that I have to take care of and uh, you know it, it's time for him to take care of himself now he's 19 um, so that's that so let's get back to the, the surgery thing so I went to the grocery store yesterday and I bought some sugar-free jello and sugar-free pudding and um, some 1% milk and um, I don't 
know if one percent mile turn right. Thinking about it now, I don't know if one percent milk is going to be all that great in pudding, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've never tried it with one percent milk, but I'm going to try it anyway. And I bought some more, of course, more soup, and I bought some Greek yogurt. Take um, the next right. They're kind of high in carbs for it being yogurt, which is really shocking. But um, I had to, I had to, you know, I, I bought left. it. You know, it's not that big of a deal compared to, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking in anything else. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, so I bought some of that and we're going to try that. I don't know how well I'm going to like that, but we'll try it. And... Um, I did get a couple of recipes, which I will post on here as well, um, for uh, some kind of custard type thing, and then some smoothies and stuff. Um, In a quarter mile, merge onto I-95 South. I see a lot of people posting these creamsicles, and I checked out what was in my grocery store, and they're not sugar-free, number one. They have lots of like 21 grams of sugar so I'm definitely not doing those but people swear by them but that's a lot of sugar um, and I'm just not ready to jump into that I did buy some sugar-free candy which probably was the wrong thing to do it does have alcohol sugar in it um, and after doing some research apparently it causes um, gas and diarrhea and I had lots of gas all night long so I will be eating those sparingly. <laughs> um, I took, I don't know, three from yesterday evening until this morning. I took three gas X pills, uh, chewables I should say, um, to help alleviate some of the gas. But it was really bad. And I only had like three, maybe four throughout the whole night. It wasn't like, you know, la 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 la. But, you know, it just was enough to irritate my belly. So... I will definitely be eating those sparingly. I will not be eating those um, a whole lot because I do not like feeling bloated and gassy. Um, and I could hear my belly all night long. It was crazy. So um, I I am I am hungry. I worked out a little bit. I mean, I did some working out, some little lightweight cardio stuff um and so we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it every day but um uh, yeah I uh I am hungry because I worked out you know I I used energy so I am hungry um and I didn't have any protein shakes I didn't have any of that stuff I didn't do any of that today which is kind of bad of me um house is up in turmoil right now so I just had to get out of it um but that's it I don't have anything else I will post what I have for recipes and um like I said this is gonna be week three and I think I'm just gonna go to puree week three I'm not going to wait 21 days um, I know that's what my surgeon suggests but listening to my body and what's going on in my body and how I'm feeling I'm ready um, I'm ready like I can feel it I need substance I need food um, and I'm being cautious of what I buy and what I'm eating and what I'm putting in. You know, I'm not putting a lot of carbs. I'm not putting a lot of sugar. I checked labels on every single thing I bought yesterday. Um, you know, and I did not get anything that had over 15 carbs, plain and simple. If it had uh, sugar, no, no, no. It did, if it had over 10 carbs, I didn't get it. If it had over 15 grams of sugar, I didn't get it. Um, Except for the soup, I didn't check the soup labels. I just got them. But the, like the yogurt and the candies and stuff, I didn't get it because 
I'm not willing to put any of that stuff in my body yet. I'm working hard on doing this and I'm not going to sabotage it by having a lot of carbs or sugars. It's just that simple. Um, you know, I am drinking Gatorade G2, which I am surprised that they even allow this as an option because it has eight carbs and seven grams of sugars and 30, gra 30 calories, 30 grams of calories. So, I mean, it's a pretty big bottle, but seven grams of sugar is a lot, especially when they're pounding in your throat that you should have sugar-free popsicles and sugar-free this and sugar-free that. But they, my surgeon says G2 is good to drink for hydration, but yet it's got it's lots, I mean, seven grams of sugar and, you know, eight grams of carbs, but I mean, it's under 10 grams of carbs, you know, and under, you know, but still that's like, I'm shocked that they even still, you know, they promote it. Um, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. I have uh, vitamin water that's zero all across the board. Now, it does taste weird, but I do have vitamin water all across the board. You know, it has zeros everywhere. Because um, it's vitamin zero. And vitamin water is zero. So, yeah. But that's it, really. I have nothing else for today. Um, I am going to... He's moving all of his stuff back home. And I'm going to be very, moving very little because I am um, moving Michael because I can't lift over five pounds. So, you know, that's where things are at right now. So you know what I say, the best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in you today? Today I'm investing in trying to keep my sanity with my household being in an uproar right now. And, um, that's what I'm investing in today. So you guys have a great day and I will check in with you maybe tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye.